wonderful to be here. We just attended one of the best presentations I have had the chance to attend in the last year with Dr. John Norcross talking about evidence-based relationships. And he has gratefully, gratefully agreed to share some key concept of his presentation with us at the Florida Mental Health Counseling Association of the state of Florida. John, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I know you're going to introduce yourself and then share with us two key elements of the importance of the relationship and the effectiveness. Uh, my pleasure, Carlos, and thank you for those kind words. Friends, my research colleagues and I have for the past 12 years been studying evidence-based relationships. Now this parallels the notion of treatments of choice or evidence-based treatments. So we've conducted a series of meta-analyses trying to identify what works in the therapeutic relationship. Because science, of course, can help us identify what works in terms of treatment methods as well as relationships. Here are the results of those meta-analyses. Alliance in the individual psychotherapy, alliance in youth therapy with children, alliance in couple and family therapy, Probably the best parallel in group therapy to the alliance is cohesion, the stickiness together. We know that empathy, particularly client-rated empathy, very effective. Goal consensus and collaboration, that is, client and clinician on the same page, tends to work well. Collaboration, co-creating this relationship certainly predicts and contributes to a successful treatment episode. Another meta-analysis done by Michael Lambert shows that collecting real-time client feedback improves the success of therapy and decreases dropout. And finally, therapists evidencing positive regard, support, affirmation. All of these contribute most impressively to the success of counseling. As shown in this next slide, I like to put it this way. We do know what works. Decades of research have told us the relationship works. It's not clinical lore, it's established scientific fact. The effect sizes for these relationship conditions concretely translate into healthier and happy people. So to reiterate, the therapy relationship makes substantial, consistent contributions to success, to outcome, independent of the type of treatment. So I hope our work in psychotherapy relationships that work, and all this is placed on the public domain at NREP, National Register of Evidence-Based Practices and Programs, will help people to harness the immense power of the therapeutic relationship in creating these healthier and happier people.